Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on a little fall sign that I've been wanting to work on for a while now. Um, I got these leaves at the Dollar Tree a while ago. I'm sure you guys have seen these. They come with these little uh, jute strings here and they have a hole in them. And I want to use these on my sign. So what I did was I took some of this um, lightweight spackling. You can get this at the Dollar Tree and I just put it in the holes and then I'm just going to sand that off so I don't have a hole in my leaf for this project. And then I have a, a little wood sign here. Now these were 99 cents when I got them. I got these a while ago so they might be a little bit more now. I think I picked these up at AC More but I know they have them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby or whatever. And I'm actually going to be making it on this one which I already started. <coughs> And then I decided, oh, I may as well video this. Um, and this is the same thing. This one was 99 cents, too. And I just painted this. I put one coat. This paint is wonderful. I love this. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby the other day. And it's the uh, home decor chalk paint. And it's a folk art paint. And um, this one is cottage white. And it covers wonderful. I only used one coat on here. And I messed around with some other colors I want to do. And um, it is non-toxic, and it's water-based, and it's for indoor use only. So if you want to put a project outside, you would have to, you know, spray it with a clear coat or something to protect it. So anyway, I painted up a couple of these leaves, and this is how they came out. And I'll show you guys how I do my leaves. I mean, I'm not no professional leaf painter. But I just painted a bunch of different colors on here, and then after I, after it all dried, I just took a... Actually, it was just a um, colored pencil, a dark brown, and then I just went through and made some little lines in there. So that is what they're going to be. So, yeah, so you just need to cover your board. Now, if you want to do these for, like, craft shows or whatever, you're going to want to paint the back, too. Take your sticker off, paint the back. Um, I'm just hanging this on the wall, so I didn't bother painting the back, but that's totally up to you guys whether you want to do that or not. So, first... Let me show you what I'm going to do here with my leaves. Now this is all I do to paint my leaves. I take, let's see, decide whatever the base color I want it to be. Well, first let me sand off my little spackling here. And this stuff comes off really easy. That's it. And there you can paint over that and then you won't see the hole. So that is it for that. Whoops. That's all I need my sandpaper for, unless you have some rough edges on your little wooden block, but mine actually was very nice. So then I just take a bunch of different colors. I think I'll make the base of this green, and then I'm going to add some yellows, some oranges, maybe a little bit of brown. I don't know. But all I do is just take a little bit of each color, drop it in here, and these are those little trays you can get at the Dollar Tree, the little hors d'oeuvre trays. And just put a little bit of each color in here. I don't need a lot of the other colors. And then I do do the... Oh, good thing I put this extra paper down because I just spilled it. Um, I do do all the painting while it's still wet. It kind of blends it together a little bit better. And of course you're going to need a brush. No particular brush. I just happen to have this one here. So for the base of this one, I'm going to make it green. So I'm just going to put some green on here. And I'll do the stem last. That way it gives you something to hold on to. And the sides are a nice brown on these, so I don't have to do anything to the sides. <clears throat> so we're just going to do this. And, you know, you can use whatever colors you want. Any, you know, color fall leaf you want to make. Um, there's no particular way to do this. And now while this is still wet, I'm going to go in with some of the yellow. I'm just going to put some of that up in here. And you'll see, I'm just going to kind of blend it in here and there. Just to add different colors. And then I just keep adding them as I go along. And then let's see, I'll put a little bit of um, the orange. We'll mix that in here too. And then you just kind of blend it together. And if you want a little more orange. 
orange, which I think I do around the edges here. I'm going to do that. And then when this all dries, you just add your um, little lines. And I am far from a great painter, but this is what I came up with for my little fall leaves. I was messing around with this yesterday, trying to kind of get it together here. And then I might add just a little bit of brown in here. Not too, too much. And then you can go back and add some more yellows or whatever colors you want. Just to make them, you know, fancy. I think I do like the yellow on the edges of this one. And that kind of all ties together really nice once you um, put your lines in here. So anyway, that's all I do, and I just keep adding different colors, and then when this dries, we'll just take the um, colored pencil and make all the little lines, and then it'll come out looking much more like a leaf, but I think these are pretty cool colors, so I'm just going to leave that be. Maybe add just a little more down here over my green. Yeah, I don't want too much green in this one, I don't think. So that's how that one's going to look. I think it's going to look really pretty once we get the lines in it. All right, so I'm going to set that aside, and then, of course, you know, when you're done getting all that done, you can just put your brown on the bottom here. And I don't ever even rinse the brush off. I just keep going with all the different colors. So there, now we have the bottom done. So let me stick that back there. Stick that in some water. Give me one of my little baby wipes here. That's why I like keeping these around because it gets the paint off my hands. All right, I can get rid of this. Save that for another day. All right, and so what I'm going to hang this with, I'm going to actually hang it with some of the jute. This is jute from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make a little bow with this jute, too. And I drilled two holes in here with my little Dremel. If anyone doesn't know what a Dremel is, it's this little tool. You can put a little sanding thing on here. This thing does a million different things. You can put a cutting tool, comes with it, all kinds of stuff. I usually just keep this drill bit in here all the time because it's the one I like for all my craft projects when I want to hang something. And um, if you don't have a drill, you could just take the jute string and, you know, hot glue it real good on the back because these are not heavy at all and it's not going to be very heavy when it's done. So if you, that's, you know, up to you guys. And then I have this little darning needle nice and long that I used to go through the hole with some of the jute string and that's what we're going to use for the hanger. So I wanted to go around the edges and paint this. I am a horrible painter and my wrist is killing me today so I gave up and I decided I was going to use some of this distressing ink and these are the little sponges, the Sassy and She cosmetic sponges and I like using these and this is some of the Tim Holtz um, distressing ink and this one's called peel paint and then I have one here that's called vintage photo so instead of painting this I'm just gonna go around these edges with this uh, end of the sponge here which makes my life so much easier and just in this crease here I'm gonna make that this green and it doesn't stay that green it kinda of fades to this color so that's what I was hoping for and even if it didn't I could go over it with a little bit of the, uh, the more brown color and that just fits in there real nice for me, so I don't have to try to paint that too much. I mean, you could always tape the top off so you don't, you know, go over. But this is just quick and easy. So I'm going to see how that dries. I may go over it with a little bit of the brown. I think that's might have been what I did at the top. I don't know. I've been messing around with this thing for a couple days, figuring out what I wanted to do. No, I don't think I want to put the brown on there. Well, we'll leave that. I'll go back over it with the green later. Uh, I don't want that brown. All right. 
that covered that right up. But I do want to use some of the brown, kind of distressing like the front edges on this a little bit, because I don't want it white, white, white. All right, let me get rid of this sponge here. Now for this one, I'm just going to take this um, sponge. You can use the um, cosmetic sponges too if you want to. And I'm just kind of going to go around these edges a little bit just to distress the paint. Mostly in the corners is where I like to do a lot more. It looks cool in the corners, just a little bit more brown. And you can do that on this top edge too if you want. I don't know, we're just going to keep going here. This is just so easy to do that you really can't mess it up. There. And then I'm kind of going to get most of it off of here and just go lightly over here. I figured this was the best way to do it. I was going to mix in like a little bit of brown paint, but I just wasn't getting the color I wanted. So I think that'll work out good. Now I want to write Happy Fall here, and if you have a paint pen or something that would be great. I didn't have one, so I'm just going to use a Sharpie on this one. <coughs> and write Happy Fall. And I wanted to do that before I put my other things on, just so, you know, I made sure that the letters stand out nice. But first I think I'm going to go ahead and tie on my hanger. And I'm just going to go through the front here. That way, when I tie it, it'll be towards the back, and it'll hang nice and flat against the wall. So I'm just going to make a knot here, like at the top, top edge. Nothing fancy here. I'll just cut that off. Now on this side I'm going to go from the back to the front. That way it'll um, keep the hanger in the back there where you want it. And I think that'll be good right there. They had so many nice wood cutouts this year at the Dollar Tree. And I have a lot of, most of them I had were for, um, I'm sorry, I keep banging that. Most of them I had were for like Halloween. But that is going to be the hanger on here. So now, I think I'm going to wait on the words. I may end up smearing them if I don't wait long enough. I have these. I have this little acorn from the Dollar Tree. And I have a couple little leaves here that I want to use. These actually came off of, let me see if I can find one that has it on here. Um, let me pull this out of here. Oh, where did they go? Oh, here. I have so many flowers over here. It's just a bunch of the mini mums, and they have some of these little wiggly vines growing out of them and stuff. And then I just cut off two of the leaves and the little vine and one of the mums I'm going to use on here. So I don't want a ton of stuff, but I am going to make a little jute bow also. So I think I'm going to put this on here first. I got my new glue gun out today. We're going to see how this works. I haven't used it yet. This will be the first time. And it takes a lot of glue to get going here apparently. Like, uh, there we go. I got this one because it has a really fine point. I got this at Michael's called Art Mines. So we're going to give this one a try here today. My old glue gun just wasn't getting really that hot anymore. And of course you guys know it's, it was a mess. And these things have a little stand on there to stand up, but they really don't work very well. So I'm going to put this leaf here. And I just cut these off, enough, just cut them off kind of squared. And then this one's going to go over here. And now I'm going to make my little bow. So all I'm going to do with this is, I want to use three, 
three pieces of the jute. I think that should be plenty. Just cut your little loops here. And then I'm just going to make just a regular bow. Make a loop and tie it around here. I think that's good actually. Let me tighten that up. Yeah, I think that'll be good, but I'm going to cut these off really short because I don't want them interfering with my words. So I'm going to put that up a little bit higher. Bunch of glue on the back of that to hold it. I do like this glue gun. Put that there and then take my little mini mum. And clip that down short. And then when you clip these off short, you really need to put some hot glue down in that hole. Just so it doesn't fall apart on you. And then we're just going to glue that right under that bow. And now I'll do is put on my wood leaves. My garbage can's 100 miles away today. So that's what that looks like there so far. I can't see a thing in my camera. There we go. <clears throat> There's so much glare in here that when I go to look to see what I'm showing you guys, I can't even see into my camera. But I like that little jute bow sticking out of there. All right, so figure out which leaf I want on top. I think I like the red one on top. So I'm just going to put these on here so they don't block my words at all. I think that'll be nice right there. Kind of right up to where that hole is if you're drilling a hole. I mean, if you're not, then that's not a big deal. And I did write my word fall on here in pencil, and I put a little line here, and I can erase that right off. But I have horrible handwriting, so I had to kind of figure out what I was going to do. I don't like to just wing it when I'm doing letters because uh, it never comes out good. All right, I figure out where I want my acorn. I might want him just sitting right on top of here. I don't know. Let's get this glued on here. This one will stick up a little bit higher. I don't know if I want something in. No, I really don't. I think I just want it right here. And that's right where he's going to go. Alright, so now the last thing I have to do is my lettering here. And hopefully I'm going to have a steady hand to do this, and I'll show you guys what I do to it. But I am actually going to pull this up close to me, I'm just going to take my Sharpie and just trace over my lines, hopefully nice and straight. So after I get that done, I will be back and we can hang this baby up and see how it looks. Alright guys, there it is all finished. I just, when I, after I put the letters on, I just made little circles on all the, you know, like straight edges just to give it a little extra something there. I actually got that from a book of lettering that I bought many, many years ago, and I always like that. I think it looks cute. So that is what I did, and I did add a little bit of more distressing ink because it was just, some of it was just showing too, too white, but I absolutely love this. So this is going, I'm not sure, I think this is going out my kitchen next to my back door, and I think that'll look really cute hanging there. And here's the other leaf. I did, um, put the lines on it. So this came out pretty cool. Like I said, you can use any colors you want to make those. But I just wanted to share this little project with you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day everyone.